In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can add in a Likert question. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is a Likert question? If you've ever had a review at work, you've probably used the Likert scale before. And a Likert scale is where you're given a question and then you're asked to select highly satisfied, satisfied, okay, not satisfied, so on and so forth. That is a Likert scale. And we can add those into our customer survey. So let's scroll down. And Likert scale is underneath the more question types drop down. We're going to choose Likert. So now we can add in our question. How would you rate your online and checkout experience with Happy Flame? So we're trying to get some customer feedback about the customer journey. Is it easy? What works? What doesn't work? Now, notice here we can add a subtitle. Again, that's if you want to give a little bit more information about the context of this question. We're not going to add one in for the time being, but also notice again, we have a bit of AI at play here. So it's giving me some options that I could possibly add into this Likert scale. Now, in this case, we're not going to use those. We're going to define our own. So option one, we're going to say strongly agree. Option two, we're going to say agree. Option three is going to be neutral. Option four, disagree. And finally, option five, strongly disagree. So now we can add in our statements. So let's say the website was easy to navigate. And I'm going to add in three more statements in the same way. So now we have our statements and we have our scale. Let's click on the preview button to preview the form. And we can now go in and make our selections depending on how we felt the purchasing process went. And it's worth noting that if we jump to the mobile view, this is what a Likert scale question looks like. Now, in general, the Likert scale is wider than the actual mobile phone screen. So we do have a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom so we can scroll across and still make our selections. So that is how a Likert scale question works when you're using Microsoft Forms.